practice Beethoven, Schumann, Schubert, Chopin, they are all very, very personal romantic composers. And they're so busy telling me what they were going through. They were in love or they're devastated, happy, sad, full of hope. And sometimes I want to say to them, so well, fine, thank you, but can you just leave me alone? Then I go to Debussy, he does leave me alone because his music is so much about exploring in the sound world. And then I can really get myself into this composer and exploring, experimenting, finding all the beautiful sonority out of this instrument. In European traditional conventional scale, we are allowed to do something like this. Debussy uses a lot of different kinds of scales. When he was a student at Paris Conservatoire, he kept breaking all kinds of laws. In terms of writing classical music, there are really forbidden movements, which sound very, very exotic, I'll show you. But Beethoven and Mozart would never, ever use these. Well, I could not even start to describe how exotic it must have sounded to European composers' years at that time. Eventually, he was sent to um, foreign countries to study a little bit, but Debussy didn't like that either. He was a true Frenchman from Paris. He always wanted to go back to Paris. This piece is called Fireworks, and throughout the piece we can actually imagine fireworks. I have to start extremely, extremely soft. This is the uh, uh, fire is lit, and then it's going. To And then we can really visualize the fireworks going up. I don't really play jazz myself, it's a very different technique, but it has got the tune. quieter, suddenly it sounds a bit like jazz. Well, that's probably why jazz musicians really love Debussy. We can hear French national anthem from long, long, long distance. But then interrupted by fireworks. Interrupted by another little fireworks. Very, very colourful and really quite dramatic. Mm -hmm. 